right, Mark Deering here from Remax. We have another new listing for you this week. We are in Zealand Schools. We are on nine acres, just about nine acres. This place is massive. We've got over 8,000 square feet. We've got a huge pole barn out back. So many things, I'm gonna try not using all the adjectives of massive, huge, large, but you're gonna hear them a lot. This place is big. Come on and check it out. All right, so let's take a quick tour here, folks. As soon as you walk in, you already kind of get a feel for what you're about to see. You walk into this big, large, grand entrance, uh, huge staircase, lots of tile. Um, everything on the main floor is gonna be nine and 10 foot ceilings. Before we get too far, let's head over to this area towards the garage. And it does have a three stall garage. It is fully finished with heat also. And right off of the garage, you've got lockers galore. Walking out of the mudroom area or off the garage, uh, right off of this, that area is gonna be a half bath. It's always nice to have a half bath right by the garage. And you got main floor utility here. Kind of a fun feature is a walkthrough pantry. Pantry has all sliding shelves. Uh, makes it super convenient to reach in the stuff in the back. But then there's also a pocket door right here. That's gonna close off the pantry and the kitchen. So let's back up just to give you a better feel. Back to the front door here. So you're gonna walk in to the kitchen and the formal dining area. This formal dining area has nice wood floors a uh, nice tray ceiling. And look at this buffet. It's got hard surface countertops, um, lots of cabinet space. You could do all your decorations in there or set out Thanksgiving, your Thanksgiving meal. Heading over to this spot here in the kitchen. Lots and lots of countertop space. Look at all the different places that you can either be prepping your meals or setting out food for entertaining. So then you walk over out of the kitchen into the Four Seasons sunroom and uh, look at all the natural light in here. There is a light on, but you don't even need it. And this is facing south. So you're gonna get the morning sun sunrise and you're gonna get the sunsets from right here. <clears throat> Off to the west here, you do have a composite deck with a vinyl railing. Current owners have a permanent desk right there. So that is a built-in desk behind you and perfect little office right there pass through to the living room. And this is a built-in cabinet. So this does remain, but this is a huge built-in built -in cabinet. You've got a gas fireplace. All right, on the main level, you're going to have the primary, primary suite. So we just walked into it. Uh, we'll go to the bedroom first. Nice uh, tray ceiling in here. Real good size, king size bed. Plenty of extra space if you wanted to put a sitting chair, reading chair, anything like that, but it's a nice size room. While I'm walking past the thermostat, it reminds me this does have zone heat. So there is two furnaces, two AC units, and you're gonna be able to keep control in different temperatures with the zone heating, so. All right, so walking out of the bedroom, uh, across to the walk-in closet, once again, large, huge, so then you walk out of the walk-in closet. Uh, nice little makeup area, uh, maybe getting ready, um, getting ready before you head out. Now there is a pocket, there's a full, full door behind you. And then this is a pocket door separating the closet and the desk there, the makeup area. So you've got dual sinks. And it's kind of nice that they're separated. You know, a lot of times they're on the same side, but these are separate. Lots of uh, big mirrors, um, huge shower. All right, so let's head up to the second level. All right, so you get to the top of the stairs and you've got a nice sitting area, perfect for a little office, um, homework zone, whatever you'd like. And this is pretty cool, guys. Uh, it's not every day you see something like this. We've got a nice bookshelf here. 
uh, for you can set up your library or whatever you want to do decorations but we have a hidden room so behind this door here or I should say behind this cabinet here check this out big giant room secret room so that's the secret room how fun is that all right so then you walk um, in this direction and this is where you're going to start hearing me say large room large room large room large room but it is what it is they are large rooms So we've seen the upper level, the main level, and we have the lower level to finish off this 8,000 plus square feet. Uh, here we go. So we've got a nice built-in, this is basically a second kitchen, big countertop space, um, a whole set of appliances down here, pretty much a full kitchen down here, sink everything. Got a nice pool table area here. To try to give you, I'm trying to give you a, an idea of how big and wide this space is, but once again, just, re, just reflect on the square footage. This area is purposely a little bit darker uh, with not as many lights because this was set up to be a, a theater room. So we've got a nice full, this would be the, your fourth full bathroom. All right, so we've got another room down here. Um, this one does not have a closet, so to say, so it's kind of a perfect workout room. It's got a big countertop space there with the sink. This is a perfect craft room, uh, workout room, you know, just about anything you can imagine. You know, if you didn't want that to be the workout room, you want this to be the workout room, you've got a lot of options. Let's just put it that way. Lots of options. And we're not done yet. There's more. <laughs> All right, so you come from that side and you go right past the kitchen again. There's the second kitchen, the dinette. And you have, what's kind of cool is this door takes you up to the three stall garage and there's a nice stairway to come in and I'll show you here in a minute while that's pretty why that's pretty cool is you get almost like another uh, mud room you can see they got the snowmobile gear here this is where you know the maybe the boots and stuff from hunting or whatever you can come right out of the garage come down and put that stuff instead of coming through the front door and, and using up a, a mud room up there so Nice feature coming in from the three star garage to the basement. All right, so that's the inside. Now we are on the outside and we are, remember, we're on about nine acres. So we're at the about mid section of the land and we've got two big buildings we're gonna talk about. We've got a nice big barn here that's two story. Uh, you could use it as a horse barn. You could use it as a different hobby farm or you could turn it into a nice wood, wood shop. Just about anything, let your imagination run. All right, so. In addition to that uh, barn slash shed over there, you've got this 40 by 80 pole barn. You've got four doors up front. So perfect for the jet skis, the snowmobiles, the boat, the RV. Obviously it is heated. You've got nice 220 power out here. Uh, big old pad here for parking the vehicles, washing the vehicles. Um, let's head down here and take a peek inside. So you walk in and you've got that finished steel inside. Like I mentioned, it is heated. Um, you do have an air line that goes all the way around. So if you wanted to do something with air, create a little workshop in here. Um, giant, giant, giant. All right, a so couple things to note out here is that you do have a half bath and a big giant shop sink. Nice little office area. If you wanted to have an office um, to work on you say you have a shop going here and this could be a little office. And then there is still a loft area with tons more storage. So not only do you have a ton of space, but you have a little bit of a indoor hoop, hoop setup. You can do the old switchbacks. You can do the old switchback, switchbacks. Let it rain. Woo! 
All right, well, thanks for taking a tour with us. That is your approximately nine acres, um, over 8,000 square feet, huge place, lots of space inside, lots of space outdoors. Right here in Zealand, minutes from the lakeshore, minutes from short distance to Holland, short distance to Grand Rapids. Everybody loves this location because you're close to everything in West Michigan. Call us for your private showing. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm not gonna break myself. <laughs>